This film is of a demonstration carried out to prove the effectiveness of Chobham armor. First, a control plate of conventional armor steel will be fired at. This will be followed by a Chobham armor target of exactly the same weight. Both targets are supported at 60 degrees to represent the likely configuration of a vehicle front. The first attack is a 120 mm APDS shot with the charge adjusted to simulate a typical battle range of 1200 meters. This is fired from a standard chieftain under closely controlled range conditions. Lloyd. Seven or one, take on! Seven on! Three, two, one, firing now. The second attack is a 127mm high explosive shaped charge. As these warheads do not rely on their speed for penetration, they're fired statically. Both attacks severely overmatch the control plate, and even the shape charge, with its smaller hole, has clearly projected many fragments, which in a vehicle could have killed the crew or seriously damaged equipment. The Chobham armor target is now attacked with an identical shape charge, followed by a 120 mm APDS, again adjusted to 1200 meters battle range. Another shaped charge. And yet one more APDS. The Chobham Armour's multi-shot capability is demonstrated by the fact that although these attacks are as severe as almost anything likely to be met on the battlefield, this small target could have accepted at least as many again. It can be seen just how close together attacks can be made without defeating the armor. Indeed, there have been no penetrations. The two small bulges on the back of the target were made by the APDS attacks. A crew protected with Chobham armor would have been completely safe. In a tank with conventional armor, either type of attack would have killed them. <laughs> 